Did you know your iPhone's got a built-in feature that will create a clone of your voice in less than two minutes, which you can then use for loads of other things on your phone? Here's how it works. In the Settings app, I'm going to go on to Accessibility, and then we're going to scroll down to where it says Personal Voice. From here, we're going to tap onto the option to create a personal voice. And this process has changed since last year. It's now way quicker, and in my experiments, it has a much better result as well. We're going to tap Continue here, and we're going to give our personal voice a name. I'll just call mine Jacob's voice so it's easy to find later. And then we're going to start recording in a quiet and calm space, using the phrases that appear on the screen. You can choose if you want to do a shorter version again, but to be honest, the default length is really quick, and that's what I'll demo for you now. So we're going to tap on to continue, and then we're going to press record and read on screen. I'm creating a personal voice with my iPhone. You're going to see that that's been recorded, and it said, yep, that's all good. There's no background noise, nothing like that in the way. So let's press continue, and we'll record a few more. And don't worry, you haven't got to watch all of these, but just so you know, there are only 10 sentences to record. It doesn't take long at all. Does he know how to speak Spanish? He was named to the National Baseball Hall of Fame in 1970. Let us grab a bite to eat. Now I've finished recording those 10 phrases, it's going to take less than a minute to process my personal voice. On iOS 18, this took several hours. I had to come back to it literally hours later for it to work. But now it's it's done. Look at that. It's literally finished already. And straight away, I can preview this personal voice. This is Jacob's voice. It does sound a bit like me. And then we can start using it in different ways across our phone. OK, so let's put it to the test. I'm going to go back a level to get to the main accessibility screen. And this time I'm going to choose live speech. On here, we can make sure we've chosen the live voice, Jacob's voice. And then to use live speech, all you have to do is press your lock button three times anywhere on your phone and you can type in a message for your phone to read aloud. In the past, it would use a Siri voice to do this, but now we've got our own personal voice, it's going to read it in Jacob's voice. As soon as I press return on the keyboard, you're going to hear Jacob's digital voice just like this. Hi, it's Jacob here. How are you doing? It's pretty crazy that it's created that based off just 10 phrases that I recorded in less than a minute. This is such a powerful feature, and I think it can help so many people use their phones and access the world in new and exciting ways. And I think Apple should be given full credit for this. What an awesome, awesome tool. And this is far from the only new thing in iOS 26. If you want to see what else your phone can do now that it just couldn't do before, check out my channel down below, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more quick tips in the future. I'll see you next time.